Hello, everybody. This is Greg29407, back with another episode of City of Heroes. Well, uh, I am with Killdozer again, and we are in Talos Island. I am headed over here right now to a mission that I tried to do two levels ago when I was level 28, uh, which is Stop Protean's Invasion. This is uh, the last of a uh, last mission in a story arc from Jenny Adair. Uh, you, you have her between levels 20 and 29. And uh, I got to say, I think that uh, in the early level of this game, which is you know maybe level one to 35, this may be the hardest enemy to fight solo, Protean. Um, I don't know. He is seem seemingly impossible to fight. I fought him on several different characters, and I've not been able to take him on at all at the appropriate level. I've had to, to level up a couple of times at least um, before taking this guy on. It's that he's that tough. Um, so I had this mission at 28, and when we get to the end, you'll, you'll see why. He, he has these, all these powers where he can suck up all of your endurance, and uh, he hits hard. He hits like a, like a freight train, and um, he's got everything that you would want in a character if it was your character. If you know what I mean? So, yeah, so this is a... Um, Real problem. So what I'm going to do, I am now level 30. I'm going to try and take this guy on at a higher level. It's uh, now, of course, uh, as you can tell, all these his supporting enemies are, are simple. They were simple before too. Um, just go through there and just you know beat them all up. But this Protean guy is just unbelievable. I've uh, already fought him on. I have another character who is a. Uh, scrapper. He is a street justice electric scrapper. And uh, holy cow! He, I mean, I just tried everything. I thought it was—I thought it was electric armor that was so bad. But, you know, just, this character is just tough. Um, the enemy is just so tough. Um, so we'll see. I'm expecting very bad things from this. <laughs> I don't know if I have to fight everybody or not. I probably not. So I'm just going to try and get right to him. He's on level three of this map, as I recall. I'm going to hit him with everything I've got. We'll see what how it goes. It's um, it's not pleasant just because, you know, there's a certain level of fighting in this game that makes sense, and then you get to a guy like this, and it's like, holy cow, is this? A, are we? Am I playing a different game all of a sudden? <laughs> what happened here? It's not like the uh, the the difficulty of the game uh, slowly ratcheted up as you got went along. It's like the game is is not overly difficult. You, you play smart. You do your thing. And then you fight this one guy, and it's impossible. And then the game goes back to the normal again. It's just, uh, it seems like he's out of place, I guess is the best way to look at it. I played some games, some MMO games, where the entire game is designed like that. You know, you're just sailing along pretty well, and suddenly you just run into an impossible wall of, uh, of, of impossibility. Um, that's just a badly designed game, uh, those are. I think this one is just, I think this, this protein guy maybe just uh, over tuned for solo. I don't know. So I got this mission at level 28. I'm at level 30. Here he is. All right, now he's orange. He was, he's not purple anymore. He's an elite boss. We've taken on uh, purple elite bosses before. This guy's going to be different. All right, I've got all my toggles on. Got combat jumping on as well. My resistances are pretty high. Every rate's good. I've got this for when I start to run into some health problems. Well, there's only one guy, so I won't get too much on that. I got this to help boost up. What other things do I have? That's not going to help. That's not going to help. I can bring in some clockwork to help me, but I don't think that's going to help either. <laughs> um, what may help, I, I do have build up now. Uh, what may help is um, running into the elevators to escape. That is something we can do. 
So unfortunate. So let's uh let's bring this guy out from that that circle. See now you can't hit me through the wall. Come on, man. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Alright. See, that's, that's what I'm worried about. Go jump! Back up already. He has that power. I got him. I got him. Holy moly. So my endurance is almost at the bottom. My health is going down. Oh, boy. Uh, again, so I was uh, two levels above this guy. So that is, uh, holy cow, that guy is tough. All right. Um, save your mirror self. All right, I got to go save uh, another version of me somewhere. Yikes. Is he in here somewhere? Jeez, that guy is impossibly tough. It's just, uh, well, not impossible. You just beat him. But <laughs> let's see if we can find this other guy. Make the ultimate sacrifice is what our mirror. Anyway, that's part of the, the story arc. We have to find this guy somewhere in here. There we go. So there's a look like me. There's the bad, evil looking like versus the name. This is sad. I got two seconds. I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're supposed to do there. You have five seconds to escape. Um, no. <laughs> All right. Well, that was good. Um, so, anyway, I think that the my advice on this case is um, get the mission and then level up two or three times until you're ready to take on the mission. Not, not, a, not a good mission. It's... Um, not well designed. Well, let's go talk. Let's talk to our contact. See what she has to say. Oh, I have to go talk to her in person. All right. Again, this does have the uh, the well known randomness of City of Heroes. Whereas, if you're on one side of the of the map, your mission will be on the exact opposite side of the map. <laughs> Always. Which is why I like Super Jump. So let's head on over there. See what she has to say. Yeah, I don't know of any other uh, high-level character uh, enemies like that that are that tough. Um, I'm guessing that in high-end, yeah, I don't really remember. I haven't played high-end in many years. Um, and there are a lot of things that you, you need to fight with a team and stuff. But this was a, you know, basically a solo mission. Now, in this particular character, I, I think I died once, and the other, rest of the time I just would just run away and hide in the elevator shaft until uh, I boosted my health and endurance back up. But then he was back up to 100%. So you just, it was just rinse and repeat. 
so I don't know. Let's see here, do we get anything else? We got six reward merits. Only six reward merits. Let's think about that for a minute. Six reward merits for that mission that I had to wait two levels to, to finally complete. And whereas we've done some of these other uh, story arcs where you got like 23 things for like running around a map for a short period of time. Anyway, that, this is this is uh, I, I don't want to complain too much. This was a hard mission. Um, when you get the, if you get this mission from Special Agent uh, Jimmy Adair, um, just hold off on it until you uh, get higher level and then take it on that way. Um, I've done this on a level 24 uh, scrapper. I had the exact same problems that I've got on this level 30 scrapper. Uh, brute, I mean, sorry. So um, I think it's just kind of um, the way that character is. So um, this is the third contact in a, in a series of story arcs. The first one is, let me see what his name is. The first one, well, the second one was Field Agent Keith Nance. The first one is named Roy Cooling. He gives you a story arc. I uh, started level, level 20 here in Talos. That's a pretty good one. Uh, it's a really good story. And then he kept passing you off onto this um, um, field agent, Keith Nance. That's where you meet your double. That's, that's actually a good one, too. Um, this one with Jenny, Jenny Adair, I, I don't know, it just kind of ran off the rails for me. I just, I just had a terrible time. Some people will say, this is the easiest mission ever. I don't understand what the problem is. Well, I had a terrible time on it twice. So um, anyway, so that's what it, that's what you do uh, for taking on Protean. Um, I guess my <laughs> my advice is wait until you're, you, you're overpowered for him and then beat him up, and he's still really tough. Um, I don't know. So anyway, that's going to do it for now. This is Greg29407 saying, uh, be the same, and we will see you next time.